everybody turn up, turn your radios all the way up. You know me, Kelly Kelly from 25 Inch Radio on Lip Gloss and Mike's Daily. This is your girl DJ Riri, R-E-R-E, is your DJ Let's go. Good evening, everybody, and um, I hope that you are all joined in with us tonight, because this is like an awesome release, and um, I'm like so excited to do this interview tonight, you don't even know. The last time I talked to these guys, the growth that has happened to them, like over the past year, probably like a year, maybe a little bit over a year, I don't even know, but um, today is the release of Sinner, and I'm going to start you all off with that. Well, I go grab the guys and, um, you know, so we can all get to this interview because I'm really, like, stoked about it. I really am. So, um, check out Cinna released today and make sure you go to the YouTube video, Cinna by T-A-H-K-O. We're going to get the correct pronunciation of that when I get him online, okay? And J-Mo, half of the gringo game. Living bad, I'm not a saint I'm a sinner, got it on my face Been through hell, that's why I pray I'll go again, no I'm not afraid Walk this road, take my hand Wear my shoes and you would understand Where I'm going and where I've been And why I'm here Lord knows I'm a sinner, take a look in my tag I drove the highway to hell and now I'm hoofing it back this trip so many times, don't even look at the map But there's just something about this place that keeps on pulling me back And you ain't gotta tell me that I made a mess Got some old habits I should lay to rest Trying to make it home, taking baby steps But I can still smell the sulfur on Satan's breath Coming back is harder than you think So can you let me try? Bad, I'm not a saint I'm a sinner, got it on my face Been through hell, that's why I pray I'll go again, no, I'm not afraid Walk this road, take my hand Wear my shoes and you would understand Where I'm going and where I've been And why I'm here Can I fix what I've broken before it turns into ash? I'm on the highway to hell and I just hope that I crash You think I'm crazy going 80, baby, thought I was mad I might cry and try to hide, but don't mistake me for sad I thank the Lord for my daughter and everything that I had Want her to love me till there's nothing, don't forget that I'm dead I know I made some wrong decisions in my life, I'll admit And if that karma come to get me, then it's life in the pit Hey, hey, you ain't gotta tell me what I didn't do I know it's hard to come to peace when you got different views I've been living wrong but making bigger moves And when it comes to that music, I cannot pick and choose Coming back is harder than you think So can you help me find a room? Help me find a room Living bad, I'm not a saint I'm a sinner, got it on my face Been through hell, that's why I pray I'll go again, no I'm not afraid Walk this road, take my hand Wear my shoes and you would understand Where I'm going and where I've been And why I'm here Alright y'all, so that was Cinna, and I know you love it as just as much as I do. Please go check out the video. Please do that. And I have both of them live with me tonight. I have, alright, I'm just going to say it like Taco. I did it right, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I did it. See? Go ahead and explain to everybody your name, because like, I was like, I was practicing it all day. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's Taco, it's spelled a little different, T-A-H-K-O, just wanted to make it, you know, unique, make it stand out. 
Yeah, I love it. I love it. And J Mo, you're the baby. I know. I, I don't want to call you that, but you're the baby of them all, huh? Did we lose him? J Mo, you here? Yeah, I'm here. I just can barely hear. I just got out of the car. It's, it's that quarantine time. We're all like just like everywhere. Can you still hear us? Yeah. All right. All right. So um, today was the release of Sinner, right? Yes, I am. The release of the video. The video. And um, I hope y'all go check it out. It's it's totally awesome. And it, it matches the song. Like, I love it. I do. I really love it. And I don't know, like, where did y'all get that idea? Like, where did that concept come from? Because it's just like, like, you guys have, like, such a different sound. Like, First of all, let's explain this four of them to Gringo Gang, okay? The other two, which is Space Dad and Sean Ham, they're not with us tonight. They're on their own project thing. So, we got the Sinner, and then you guys also have the other single too, right? Yes, ma'am. The Bright Red? Uh, bright Red, bright, bright yeah. red yes. And I love that one too, so y'all gotta like check that one out too. I can't toss up between each one, like so y'all can be judges of that, and leave comments, I love leaving comments, so you know, if you like something, leave a comment, but definitely go look at the video for Sinner, because that was released today, and you know, tonight we got this live interview, and you know, it's just kicking it with it, but you guys have such a different sound, like, y'all remind me, see, I used to work with a lot of alternative groups, so, like, Limp Biscuit, See The, like, Linkin Park, you know what I mean, y'all get that sound, like, bringing it back, and I'm just like, no, this is so crazy, like, I love it, you know what I mean, now, y'all from Indianapolis, or just, like, some of you are? Nope, Indianapolis, that's all of us. All of y'all. But we all from Indianapolis. No, y'all gave me such a total concept of Indianapolis, like, I thought it was, like, this quiet little, like, suburbia. <laughs> Hell, <no. laughs> We damn near Chicago out here. I can't. I couldn't believe it when I was watching. I was like, Nah, for yeah, real. I, yeah, I, I read a news article the other day that said our uh, our crime and murder rate is almost on par with Los Angeles and like New York City, and we are not even in the ballpark of their population. So it's it is rough out here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so crazy. Because, yeah, when I saw a little clip, I, I said, no way. Like, this is so weird. Like, I never I never thought that. All right. So, now, like, so y'all came from Indianapolis. Now, when I interviewed you last time, you all did that song, Risks. Okay? Weren't you the drummer back then? Yes, ma'am. So, you kind of, like, elevated and started. So, when was your first song? That was Bright Red or this one? Um, I, I want to say Bright Red, yeah, that was my first, I think, I think I'd probably done, like, maybe a little verse on something else, just, you know, just bullshitting around, but my first real song where everyone was like, oh, all right, well, you need to be something other than the drummer was definitely Bright Red. That's wild, that is so crazy, that is so wild. Now, Jay Moore, you've always been, like, music, you've always been, like, a singer, right, and, and like, rapping and or whatever you do, because you have, like, such a distinctive voice. Yeah, I've been, uh, like, a founding member of Gringo Gang. I've been in Gringo Gang since day one. Yeah, and then I realized you were the youngest one, and then, but your voice, though, is, like, so different. Like, when you throw your verses in there, it's like, whoa. Yeah, that's what everybody says, really. I mean, I guess it all comes from, like, having, like, the old soul and stuff. Yeah, because yeah, it's, like, like, it's cool, like, I love like, it. Like, like, me, in person, I really got, like, an old soul. Wow, that's crazy, like, you add that, like, I, I don't know, it's just like, when you come in, you can tell it's like that switch, and it's like, whoa, okay, you know what I mean, so, what are you guys rocking with, like, now, are you gonna do a video for Bright Red, too? Uh, there's actually, yeah, yep, it's out, we just did a little, a little quick, little something for the fans. Alright, cool, I'm gonna have to check that out. Now, <coughs> fill everybody in, cause I know, like, I know what Gringo Gang is, where did Gringo Gang come from, how'd y'all get together, like, what? what the story is behind that because like usually I'm always interviewing solo artists it, you don't see that many groups nowadays like I miss that you know what I mean I so miss the groups well it all started with a different group called Cobra Kai which was Space Dad Ricky Freezer and BPZ um and basically that stemmed into what is Gringo Gang now uh, a lot of you know there was a lot of changes and stuff and more people added to the group and stuff but long story short just to answer your question quickly that was basically what it turned into it went from Cobra Kai straight into Gringo Gang just basically added a couple more people and then it kind of you know it's, it's where it's at today and really the the change of name was a good I feel like at least in my opinion it was a good marketing strategy because the, the merch just flies off the shelf now there's so many 
so many routes you can go with GG, you know, all the Gucci. Yeah, our, yeah. Our new logo, it's like the it, it's like the Glock logo, but instead of saying Glock, it says gang. I mean, there's just, there's so much you can do with it. People are eating the merch up with the Gringo gang. I was thinking that too. The first time I seen it, I was like, it was nice. You know what I mean? I'm like, it, it's just a nice, even your logo. You know, I was like, wow. I mean, it's, yeah. it's totally awesome, you know. And to me, I was thinking it was like all of like everybody together. You know what I mean? Like. Because, like, I'm Portuguese, like, when we say gringos, we meant, like, everybody hanging out, you know what I mean? Like, look at them gringos, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. I, that's, it, it was how, that's how we always did slang, like, all, everybody hanging out in the corner or whatever. So, um, that's crazy. I love it, I love it. So, like, the energy of you guys, too, y'all rocking. Now, you guys went on tour, too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah we, we just got off the tour. You go ahead. ahead. We, get, we just got off the tour tours today, uh... Well, how many shows did you guys do, Kyle? Uh, what was it, like four or five shows that I missed? Um, I think it was like four or five, wasn't it, on the Doobie on Tour? The, on the Doobie Tour or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so they started off the Doobie Tour. I think we were off of tour after the Doobie Tour for maybe, what was it, a month? Maybe. maybe. Something like that. And then we immediately went back on tour with Caskey. So the, the two past recent tours uh, have been Doobie and uh, Caskey. So how was it with Cassie? Oh, it was awesome. I, I, in my opinion, I don't know about you, Kyle. I mean, I, I kind of got a good idea, but I think it was amazing. Oh yeah, we had a blast. We we had yeah. got a lot of a lot of one on one FaceTime with with Kasky and his camp. We went out. We was in the middle of the desert, in Utah, shooting guns off for probably six hours. Oh wow! Having, like three different Airbnbs they got. We was getting the same hotel. It was just it was an awesome experience. They showed nothing but love the whole time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not really familiar with him. I, I knew, like, a couple of the songs he did with Yellow Wolf. That's how yeah, I remember, yeah. you know what I mean? So it was like, I wasn't too familiar, but I was like, oh, wow, all right. But um, how about, like, oh, who else would you guys want to, like, tour with? Clever. Clever, 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 and clever. That's the five people I want to tour with. Clever, yeah, clever. I'm, I'm going to have to sure. check them out. I want to tour with City Mart. I want to tour with... Um, there's so many people, honestly. I want to throw Yeah, there really are. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Hang on, if we're going to talk about bands, let me let me just a little sneak peek into the future. There's this band I went to high school with, long story <laughs> short, one of the best metal bands I've ever heard. And uh, let's just say yours truly might have gotten them out of retirement to do a little joint project in the future. So might be cutting <laughs> the beats out here real soon and doing everything with a live band. So be on the lookout for that. I will define. Look them up on YouTube. <laughs> you can't just you can't just like do that. Now, as a group, it was she likes the last single, right? Uh, actually, I think as a group, the last single, at least the last video we put out as a group, was Trap House. All right, so I missed that one. That was that's yeah, not that, after. That, that's that after. Nice. That was after she sorry, liked, really? That's after yeah, that she liked? Alright, like. yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to go. Look. Yeah. A week or two ago. And before that was BB Simon. Oh, yeah, BB Simon. We got that too. We tried our hand on a little Detroit style beat. I'm gonna That's have to check that out. Well. Nope, I didn't hear I that we, one either. We, I know I heard she liked. K on it a couple days ago. I still go back to Risk too, so. <laughs> Yeah, definitely make sure you check out D.B. Simon and Trap House. Both those videos are hard as fuck. I went by Trap House, too, but I didn't realize it was a new one. I don't know why. I thought it was, uh, maybe it was just the way it was lined up. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, censored right now. Yeah, but that, I should ask that question. What's the what's the policy on swearing? Because I got a potty mouth. <laughs> oh, you can, you can. We're, we're wide okay. open. Like, all the songs okay. that we have are unedited. Yep, yep, yep. Now, also, your subscribers, I notice, are high up there. And you guys do have a good following, so that's awesome. Hey, we're trying to build it, for sure. And you have fans. You ain't nothing without a following. Absolutely, absolutely. But I, I, told, I said that right from the get-go, and I said that to um Matt at Stop Beefing Radio. I said, you know, these guys have got to take off. I said, they have to. I said, they're different. I said, they're music. I said, like, I was sitting there, and, and the three songs that I listened to, I said, I heard, like, so many different 90s, like, 
alternative. I said it was driving me crazy. I said and I, it was like one moment I wanted to light a candle and think I was Limp Biscuit. You know what I mean? I said then another minute. Uh, yeah. I said another minute I wanted to think I was like between Stain and Seether or something. You know what I mean? I said and then it was like I said it was wild. I said I, I really liked it. I said I don't know how many times I played Sinner today. I said my mom hey, must have got hear. sick of hearing it. <laughs> she must have like what is with the song? But um, it was just I don't know. And then the video just it, it goes. So so well with it it just matched it so well i was just like wow Thank you. yeah because not many people you know i mean world. people put out videos yeah, out zane's world for the video zane's world is definitely you get real cold with the with the camera work yeah i seen it at the end i was looking at it i seen the zane's world and i was like wow that's kind of wild i like the little logo there yep. too i was yep. like that's what's up all right so zane's what do you guys world, do when, when you ain't touring what do you do hang out and party uh, Shit, if we ain't partying, we're making music. If we ain't making music, you can guarantee at least me and J-Mo are kicking some ass on Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, no. Games, games, yep. Catch us all, Warzone, baby! See, and you'd be perfect on tour. I mean, that's what all the all those groups used to do when they go on their first tours. You'd see the tour bus. They'd have the game system in there. They'd have whatever, like all that crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, that's enough. a must. Yep. And I'd be like, what are y'all doing? So what, what's left for the rest of coronavirus? What have y'all been doing through this? Like, how you been handling it? Um, I'm pretty sure we all had that shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were on tour going through San Francisco, going through Los Angeles. They almost shut our San Francisco show down because of the coronavirus. There was maybe 25 people there. They still turned up. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking nothing bad about them. Right. Uh, we, we, we probably caught the little Roni while we was on the road. <laughs> no, just, but in, in all realism, like, I think it's crazy. I think we'll never see nothing like this again in our lifetime. And if we do, I mean, I think it might be a little bit better, like, on the handled situation. But I don't know. To me, like, personally, it's just crazy because, like, I'm so young. And in my lifetime, I've definitely never experienced something like this. So. Nah, it is Now, real. I will say, at first, it seemed like it was going to be a setback. Because, like, our plan right after we got off the road was, all right, we need to be back on the road within a yeah, month, we were gonna go months, maybe. Yeah, we were trying to do an overseas, something spring break down south in Florida. Oh, so, wow. we were kind of bummed out at first. But if it weren't for this coronavirus, we would not be cranking out the videos we're cranking out. We would not be in the studio every day. I mean, there's nothing else to do. So, why not take advantage of it and put out more content? Right, right. That's what I, at first, I was kind of, like, tripping out about it, too. Actually, today was the first day I went out after almost three months in the house. Talk about, I, and I, I shouldn't even be saying it. I've been smoking more weed than anything, okay? And that's horrible. That is so horrible. But it's like, I'm so, I've been sick since November. I was in the hospital. Then I got out. So I think I had that coronavirus, too, because they didn't know what I had. They just knew it was some upper whatever failure, respiratory failure. And it's like, I'm glad I'm here and I'm grateful for all that, but I'm, like, ready for this shit to go away. Like, what is all this, like, you know, and then you go out and nobody's wearing masks, you know what I mean? You're like, okay, like, nobody cares, like, so, you know, and, and it's like, now phase two, okay. But I, I feel you too, like, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to think of all these new ideas, you know, and my other show is a porn show, so I'm putting, like, all these roads onto that, you know, because I want to mix the music with the porn. You know, that's hey, just, that's, I mean, it's, up? it's just what it does, you know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> it, it's just, so I feel like the girls should be, like, more involved with the music, you know what I'm saying? So, I want, yeah. Hey, I've been trying to, I've been trying to kick off my acting career, you know what I mean? So, you know, just camera time. <laughs> I, I got you. But it's, it's all good, like, it's good. So, I think y'all should, like, put out, like, are you going to do another album and these singles will be on the album, or... I know. Uh, yeah, we ain't stopping. We ain't. So what I think is going to be coming up, honestly, uh, Kyle, I know he's working on Project Taco. He's working on some. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing that. And then I'm definitely going to be doing some, like, is a solo. When it comes to solo stuff, I think those two tapes will be dropping fairly recent. He's got a lot of his stuff done already, and his content is already done. So, I mean, really right now for his shit, it's just getting the, getting the producing, you know what I mean, all locked in and shit like that, and then just shooting the videos and getting them ready. What oh, I can wow. tell you, 
is on the immediate horizon. Just be on the lookout for videos on videos. We going back into the archive. We're about to put out videos for any song we got. So watch the YouTube. And Subscribe true. to the YouTube channel, Gringo Gang. It is not hard to remember. Yeah, they, and they've got a lot of subscribers, so y'all just, like, catch up on there. And it's not like, you know, you can tell they got fans because people be leaving comments like crazy. They fuck with us in the city, for sure. Yeah, they, you, all, the, all the comments they got, like, they love. They got actual love out there, okay? So that's what I say, all you indie people that want to give up, you know, and I keep telling you all the time, like, if you give up, you're just giving up, you know what I mean? You got to keep going, and it's like... Ain't nothing going to happen overnight. Right, it's going to keep taking time, you just can't give up, and uh, it's, it's crazy, like, things could just, like, take off in one second, and, you know, you could be touring or get more followers, and I keep telling you, the followers, the biggest thing is your fans, you got to work on fans, if you don't got fans, you ain't got nothing. Exactly. You know, so the, and, and that's what's hard, and that's what a lot of y'all don't want to put anything into, you know what I mean? A lot of them start, oh, I don't want to do the social, I don't want to do this, I don't, okay, well, um, how are you going to have people listening to your music? How are you going to have people like your music, you know, and get and much? I'll tell you one thing, getting, getting on social media and promoting your music and doing all that, going out and getting FaceTime, promoting face-to-face is a whole lot easier than working a 9-to-5 till you're 70. I'll tell you that right now. Yep. And then I tell them the same thing, get like merch. I don't care what it is, something that, that goes, you know. You don't want to do clothes, do something else. Do You know what I mean? There's all kinds of stuff. So, you know. So what do y'all have? to be t-shirts. Y'all said that you would want to tour with who? I forgot who y'all said because you guys said. My first, one was, my first one was Clever. I say look him up ASAP. He is, he is on the rise. Clever. He just did a song with Post Malone and Justin Bieber on the same song. And if I'm not mistaken... That's the first time Post Malone and Justin Bieber have ever done a song together. So yeah. That's, that tells you something right there. He's on a song with both of those people. And he's like, he's just so, like, smart with his, with his he's a singer, he's not a rapper, but he's just got such deep, like, wordplay. It's, check yeah. it out. He's definitely worth listening Shout to. Shout out to Doobie for turning us on to him. Too. Yes, for sure. For sure. Shout out to Doobie. Yeah, I'm going to check that like, out. I would definitely want to tour with, like, Clever for sure, City Moore, Will Tracy. Anyone from Goth Boy Click. Anyone from Goth Boy Click. You guys are giving me all these like group names that I can look up because like I'm so I I don't I never heard of any of them. Have you ever heard of Lil Peep? No. What? That's what I'm saying. Like (laughs) one billion streams. Yeah, he just died. What was it? Two years ago. But his music changed my life. Like literally. Like I would still just be putting out little bullshit raps if it weren't for listening to Lil Peep's music and just introducing me to a whole new mindset when it comes to writing. Wow. It's like that, that kind of how we do the, the grunge, from? rap, infuse. Where are you guys based out of? Um, actually, I'm from like, well, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Myrtle Beach, but I'm from like up north, like Boston. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I people. Really like your accent. Yeah, but yeah, people would be picking on my accent from home because they're like, "No, nah, you don't sound like us no more." So I'm like, "All right, <laughs> you know." Uh, I'll, I'll never pick on it. I love a Boston accent. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> they all used to pick at me at the studio down here because the southern, you know, they're like, "Oh God, here she comes. She's so loud." And uh, I'm like, "No, I'm not." You know, <laughs> like. But I wrote down Lil Peep and, and Clever because I want to check them out just to hear them. Yes. And I'm going to check out well, Doobie, too, because... Lil Peep was, like, definitely, like... He's, like... I can't believe you haven't heard of him because he was, like, huge. I mean, it sounds familiar. Yeah. I probably he want... I'm bad with names. Streams, one billion streams. I probably will recognize the song once I stop. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was about to change music forever, so... That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's why I said I'd like to do even a song with anyone from Goth Boy Click, because Goth Boy Click was his his little group. So just just to do a song with someone that that knew Lil Peep would just be awesome. You know what right, I mean? right. And that, that's that's the lane we're trying to attack heavy. So that would that'd just be a perfect feature, a perfect tour to do. So now, did you did you guys replace a drummer, or you just don't have a drummer no more? Or you do drums uh, right. and? Well, actually, on one show on the Caskey Tour, they did have a drum set set up. So if, there, if there's an opportunity like that, and I can talk to the drummer, and they'll let me play the drums for, like, our opening song or something, I'll take it. Oh, that's but, uh, cool. I, I've, I've actually got somebody in mind if we do decide to uh, to pick up another drummer. So that'll be something that it'll, it'll come eventually. We'll definitely have another drummer at some point. Yeah, add, add, a, add a drummer and a guitarist. 
Yeah, if it's not for the full gang, it'll definitely be for me and Kyle. Right. Yeah. Now that's so weird how y'all make your own like so even though you do your own songs you still like you still do like an album together where you guys could have all these songs mixed right? Oh, absolutely. Like I'm so we lost. It's been so long together. since I've worked with a group. We do a lot of like stuff like t- like a lot of the stuff we've done and like do like I'll write it or he'll sing it or you know I mean vice versa or just we we always like. We always just like go and co on it. That's so crazy. I don't want to hold you up because I know y'all are busy, but um, I need you to shout out to everybody. You know, give your social wings. You know, all that stuff. And then I want you guys to introduce um, you know, your other hit, Bright Red, because I I love that song too. And um, tell me where that came up from. That cover too. That cover drew a lot of attention cover. alone. I made the cover on my phone actually. You made it? Yeah, I made it on my phone. No way. <laughs> it's it's pretty though. Thank you, thank you. He didn't make it. He's lying. <laughs> no, I made it. But where'd the song come from? Um, I just wrote it. Like that's one of the ones I would say we like definitely like went in on together, like I wrote the lyrics for the hook and then I just told Kyle I said I keep calling him Kyle my bad that's what I call him at home Taco um, I told him like I showed him the lyrics of my part that I had and I gave like I put the idea out there that we should just kind of like leave it as one long hook and no verses at all so that's what we did and he wrote his part he sang it real quick and then there just wind up being like absolutely no cuss words in it or nothing like I don't know why we keep doing that like we <laughs> hey so, sorry to interrupt I got I got distracted someone started talking to me they didn't know I was on a phone interview are we talking about bright red yeah yeah okay okay cool just making sure I'm I'm in the the right loop. yeah you're in the loop you're in the loop <laughs> Yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's... I, I, I'm going to go watch that little video clip because I didn't know you had that. But you should do like a... We, we actually... We actually had somebody say, like someone commented on the video and they were like, I like the song, but where are the verses? It just sounds like a hook. So, we, I mean, that that was like the whole point of the song. We had to comment back. That's what I said. That's the point. You know what I mean? Every song has verses. <laughs> That's what we were doing. Every song. We wanted to be different from every song. Me and Taco are definitely for sure different even though we like seem identical sometimes <laughs> but, but it's like like me like really my my mindset when it comes to music at all times is to do something that like you don't hear on the day to day basis like if you turn on the radio or you listen to this or you listen to that it's something that immediately like that guy like he said he commented and asked where the verses were like that Right there was, for, like, the plan from the job when we started the record was to have no verses, just one long hook. The entire song is the exact same thing over and over again, which, like, I don't, I'm not that big of a fan on repetitive shit, but I'm like, that right there, I just kind of wanted to do that just to make a point to where we could, like, make a good song, but we didn't have to just, you know, sit here and, like, rap or talk about anything, really. Yeah, I thought it was good. And, and obviously... At the end of the day... My bad, I'm going to cut you. No, I was just like saying, again. obviously you guys did what you did because that guy commented, you know, so you did what exactly. you wanted. Exactly. That's crazy. And that's so funny that he did that too. He must have been like, no shit. <laughs> yep. All I commented was exactly with a big old smiley face. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I'll be nice. That's crazy though. So when you're all, all um, back and just chilling now, like, until you go out on the road again, it's just going to be studio time, making more songs and things like that, right? Yep, I don't really social media marketing. Yeah, all because you, we don't know how long this is going to go on for. Right. And they're saying now, opening it up, second phase is going to come through around winter time. Oh, yeah. The, opening up this soon is, is ridiculous. Ridiculous. He's retarded. He is so like retarded. This, granted, I might not know all the facts about, you know, what is really going on. It could be 
all smoke and mirrors, just the government trying to test us to see how much we comply. I don't know. But I'm not trying to take the risk. You know what I mean? I've Me got family either. members that are that are at that age where it could definitely affect them. So yep. not like my, my job asked me to come back to work and I worked at, at like in a kitchen. I said, Nope. <laughs> right. I don't know where you guys go when you leave here. Nope. <laughs> right. And, that, and and it is, you know, and like you said, I didn't know either. And I'm I was really sick since November, so I wasn't taking a chance either. And then um an artist that I used to know, he's a rapper out in Columbia, his mom and his brother died right around Mother's Day from that corona stuff. So then I was yeah. like, man, <laughs> like it ain't no, you know what I mean? Because I had my head thinking so many things too. Or is it just what they're saying everybody's dying of, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just so crazy. So crazy. And then I think a New World Order and all that other craziness, so... I'm just like, okay. But um, anyway, so when you do get signed, you know what I mean? If you need, like, a road P&R person or something, PR person, I'm, I said that all backwards and twisted, but um, I would love a job, you know, to go back because I miss all this. Like, I miss going on tours, and I toured with OzFest for a while. And um, do you know how fun that is? Oh, I bet. <laughs> it was like, and it was, it was the work part. all legends. Yeah, it was a work pot, you know what I mean? It was a work, like, Rob Zombie, like, just the legends that I met that it was just like, wow, you know what I mean? And and I miss, and it's not even that, it's just the music. It's just the, even House of Blues, all the first groups that would get signed that would come through, like Chevelle and Three Doors Down and, and just working with them and just seeing, you know, not seeing it on a whole different level. Like, I'm not starstruck no more, you know what I mean? That was done a long time ago. But it's, yeah. it's just the point of working with them and seeing how they really are. And, you know, like, some of them are just, like, so down to earth and cool people. It's just, like, crazy. But um, I'm going to let you all go. I need you to do shout-outs, though, and tell everybody where they can follow you, which is so easy. Like, I mean, you should all know that by now, Gringo Gang. Yep. On, on everything. If you go to really any social media, like uh, Instagram, at Gringo Gang, you look in our bio, you'll find every one of our Instagram handles in the bio. Uh, that's on YouTube, Gringo Gang. GringoGang.com. GringoGang.com. You can Google Gringo Gang. We're pretty much anywhere you can try to find us. And when you Google, it'll bring up, like, their tour thing. It'll bring up everything about them. So, you know, and please go yep. check out the video of Cinna, please. Make that yes, your priority before. Thing. I can tell you guys right now, if there's one thing I can ask of you, it's go subscribe to the YouTube. Just go, even if you don't subscribe, which I wish you would, you know what I'm saying, but at least go check it out. You will not be disappointed. We got anything from the trappish trap rap you've ever heard to some alternative grunge, damn near screamo metal music. We got it all. Tour footage, we got interviews, we got it all on there, so go check it out. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, you'll like it, you'll like it. And, and there's a lot of good music on it, too, so... Definitely. Yes, ma'am. You got shout outs to do? Uh, yeah, shout out Space Dad. He's uh, pretty much the CEO of Gringo Gang, if I had to put a title on him. Shout out to Chaz, our producer. Shout out, shout out Sean Ham. Shout out, shout out Juan, my, my security guard. You know what I mean? Shout out everybody. Am I forgetting anybody, Terry Mo? Shout out Mikey. That's our guy. 2 2 Shug. Shout out Mikey. Um, oh, shout out Raba. Can't forget Raba. Shout out, Rob. Uh, shout out, everybody. Just so I ain't forgetting nobody. <laughs> right. I shout out Stop Beef and Radio. Shout out Stop Beef and Radio. St. James, our manager. You'll find it all on the Gringo Gang bio and Instagram. Yep, yep. All right, guys, and I thank you. I thank you very much. And um, I'm looking forward yep. to, like, seeing you guys grow and rock. I can't wait. You guys got to get signed. I mean, I can't wait. Oh, that's the goal. And yeah. shout out y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out y'all for having us on the on the interview. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. That is cool. Now, um, we're gonna leave you off tonight, everybody, with their second single, "Bright Red."
souls turns to the mid. Yeah, everything for your souls turns. I clean the blood with a blue face. I'm going crazy, but not too insane. I don't drink much just to lose pain. I wipe the blood off my shoelace. My heart is crazy, but not too in place. Everything feels okay to me. But everything feels so strange to me. Yeah, everything feels so strange. Here, but I'm up here Feeling out of place when I should just enjoy the view Way at the top and I'm close to the edge now Can't pretend now I'll find my way back down soon I don't need saving, don't you save me I clean the blood with a blue face I'm going crazy but not too insane just to lose pain I wipe the blood off my shoelace My heart is crazy but not too in place Everything feels okay to me But everything feels so strange to me Yeah, everything feels so strange I don't know how I ended up here But I'm up here Feeling out of place when I should just enjoy the view Save me, 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 save
Don't forget, wash your hands. Do all the stuff they're telling you to do. Protect yourself from this coronavirus. No matter what it is, you've got lives out there.